Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to use ChatGPT to create trading strategy to trade Bitcoin. And the main target will be to achieve highest profitability based on historical data in the backtesting. I will take $1000 as initial budget and I'll try to achieve $10 million at the end of the backtesting. So if it looks interesting for you, let's get started. And first of all, let's go to the ChatGPT. And I'm sure quite a lot of you already tried to create trading strategies using ChatGPT. And you notice that ChatGPT is usually giving very basic answers saying that it can guarantee the profitability and you need to do the backtesting and you need to do thorough monitoring. All that very interesting. But let's get some working trading view strategy. And let's ask very straightforward question. Please give us trading strategy to make 10 million from 1000. And let's see what will be the answer. And we'll use the output of this answer as initial strategy, which will improve further to achieve our target of $10 million at the end of the backtesting. And again, as you can see, we're getting generic response and we're getting some example. Luckily, we're getting example based on the super trend. And let's use it as a baseline. Let's copy it and let's go to the trading view and let's try to improve it. Okay, now we are in a trading view. Let's go to the Pine Editor and paste our code. And we need to change the issues. First of all, let's change study to the strategy and put the overlay to the true because we want to have our strategy above of the price chart. And also let's change our initial capital to the 1000. And we also have to set up our strategy entry. So our strategy entry quantity and type will be 100% of our equity, right? So whatever we'll buy or sell, we'll use all our $1,000. Okay, next one, let's update super trend because the one which was used by ChatGPT is from the version four. And let's see how in version five it's implemented. So let's just copy paste from the manual, paste here, and uh, let's remove the old one. And for the buy signal, for the buy signal, we'll have TA change. So as soon as the direction change and it's less than zero, that will be our buy signal. And uh, for the sell signal will be the same, but when the direction is more than zero. Okay, that should be fine. Buy and sell alerts we don't need. For the buy signal, so let's change it again to the version five. Uh, it's we usually using it if buy and if sell, and let's put the command. So if buy, we're just going long, and if sell, we're just closing the position. So that should be fine. Let's save it. Uh, let's uh, call it like Super Trend Max Strategy. Let's save it and let's put it to the chart. So we are getting super trend line. So we have a red line and green line. So red line is when we have a downtrend and we have a green line when we have an uptrend. And the strategy works like when we have a green line, we're going to the long position. And as soon as we're getting the red line, so downtrend, we're closing the position. And again, we have green line, we are opening position and closing it as soon as we're having a downtrend based on the super trend. Right, and that's what we are having is 232% profitability based on historical data of the Bitcoin. That's not bad as a starting point, right? And now let's go and check our list of trades to understand where we're losing money and how we can improve our strategy. As we can see, we have quite a lot of trades where we lost. So we need to find a way how we can improve our strategy. And I'm usually using relative strength index as additional momentum indicator to confirm whether we should take long or short position. And in this trading strategy, I'm going to use both fast and slow RSI's to predict the market. And uh, I'll create a separate video about how to use fast and slow RSI together for the trading indicators. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll post the video very soon. So for the fast RSI, I'm going to use 21 days of the past closing price and for slower RSI I'll use last 28 days closing price and let's update our buy signal so we'll put the initial criteria into the brackets let's put end and fast RSI let's put it uh, less than 66 and for the slow RSI let's add one more criteria to be more than uh, 49 so that will be our additional confirmation signals to take long position. Now let's save our strategy 
and let's see if profitability changed anyhow. Let's go to the strategy tester, going to overview, and here we are. We have 536,000 percent profitability of the Bitcoin based on historical data. But as you can see, we still have these losses during the downtrend of the Bitcoin price. So we need to add something to define the trend. I would suggest to use ADX indicator as a trend confirmation. So we use the RSI for the momentum indicator and we're going to use ADX, which is average directional indicator for the trend. So we can go to the indicators and choose the average directional index. So if you open the description, you can find the definition of that ADX indicator. So it's showing the strength of the trend. That's exactly what we need, right? And if we go down, we'll see how we can use that. So we can use ADX. So as soon as it's going below 20, that's definitely not a good uh, buy signal. So the ADX should be more than 20 to confirm the bullish market. That's what we will use. So we will use ADX more than 20. So let's go to the, let's add ADX to our trend. So we will see this oscillator, which going, going up and down. So as soon as it's less than 20, we shouldn't take any buy signals. So let's go to the pine script and let's just copy it and add it in our trading strategy. Just copy. Let's go back to our super max trend. Let's put it somewhere and yeah, just put it here. So here we have some calculation. So we'll just change the, the length to the seven days. And yeah, we'll use this signal, which is the indicator of ADX. And let's put additional criteria for our buy signal. So it should be more than 20, right? Now let's save it and let's see if our profitability anyhow changed. And here we are, $6,472,000 from initial budget of 1,000 USD. But still we have this downtrend losses. So let's see where we're losing money. And as you can see, when we have this kind of drop in the price, that's where we're losing money. So we bought in this level and then price went so far down and that's where we lost our money. So we need to add, I mean, it's, it's normal normal way of doing trades, we need to add the stop loss. So for the stop loss level, I would suggest to use like a normal EMA, maybe like slightly less than just uh, EMA. So let's create a slow EMA first for the last like 51 days. And let's put it as a plot. Let will be add some visuals, put like slow EMA. Let's call it slow EMA. Let's put the color yellow. Let's save it. Some issues. Yeah, I just need to add comma here. And let's save again and let's see. And now we should get our stop loss level. Yes, this yellow line is a slow EMA, which will be limit for our losses. So in case the price will not go to the direction which we expected and go down, so we will have to have a stop loss exit here. So let's add the stop loss order in our strategy. So strategy exit, then let's call it somehow like stop loss and uh, should have should have to specify which order we should close. That should be for entry long. And we should also specify the criteria for the stop. So the stop, let's put it like EMA minus 20. So let's give a bit of room for, for the movements. So let's save it and let's see how it will work. And yeah. So as what we can see, the strategy already updated. So let's see if it's improved anyhow our strategy. And here we are, 9,800. Yeah, so I think I've done my target of 10 million, so plus minus 200, I think it's not a big deal. But that's the more important that we implemented the proper risk management. So as what we can see, we have stop loss levels on the level of EMA minus 20. So as soon as the price is going down, so it didn't went to the direction which we planned. So we have a stop loss. So that's how we are saving money. As you can see, we increased profitability almost 30% just using proper risk management approach. And I think that's all for this trading strategy because we reached our target of 10 million out of 1000. We used the initial chart GPT trading strategy based on the super trend, 
we added RSI relative strength index for momentum detection and we also added the ADX indicator to understand where we are from the trend perspective. And the only one thing left is that I want to create an indicator for you based on the trading strategy we just created. I will add the label buy and sell to be displayed straight on the price chart so you can use it for your own analysis and research. I'll put both strategy and uh, indicator pine script in my Gumroad and I'll put the link in the description below. And I hope that this video was useful for you and if so, please hit the like button, please leave your comments and let me know what else could I add into this trading strategy to improve the profitability. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.